Dr. Muhammad Baumia, first port of call, was the Dom Kwabenya market. He interacted with market women and other business oriented people at the market. He moved to Taifa, where he engaged with some party faithful and other business people. The tour is to afford the vice president, also the flag bearer, the opportunity to listen to the concerns of those in the community. Spokesperson to the vice president, Dr. Gideon Buaku, underscored the relevance of the community engagement. He walks through the market and the crowd. Anybody who tries to catch the attention of the vice president, as soon as he notices it, it doesn't matter what the security will say, he will stop and come to the level of the people. And I think that beyond whatever politicians may do economically, infrastructure-wise for the people, that respect for the voter and making the ordinary person recognize that indeed you accord them some level of dignity and respect is something that every politician must learn to do. And Baumia, that has been his persona. He also spoke about policies such as introducing tax amnesty and allowing Ghanaians to own mining concession in their country. People, he's going to set up what he calls the Minerals Development Fund. That Minerals Development Fund will make sure that there's money available to Ghanaians who have small-scale mining licenses and do not have the capacity and the financial resources to go into the mining. To lend them loans, then they can be able to go and mine on their own. So the era where Ghanaians take small-scale licenses and they sell to Chinese, for example, Indians and people from Turkey, will cease. The vice president is expected to travel to the western region Wednesday, May 1, to continue with his community engagement.